So Boston and its people emerged from the Civil War and then weathered the Great Fire of 1872, and the city is changing. The city is rebuilding and, as it always is, looking toward the future. We see some industries fading away or moving out in the late 19th century, but we also see new innovations and new opportunities. Just to name a few, Alexander Graham Bell comes to Boston in this period as to educate the deaf, and he winds up developing what we now call the telephone in a workshop in Boston. Thomas Edison comes to Boston and work, his first patent is actually issued here, a patent for a vote counting machine, something that will be of great use here in Boston where votes are always being counted. But Edison will come back in the 1880s and install electric lights in Faneuil Hall and in other places. Also, Louis Prang, who invented the chromolithography process during the Civil War, after the war, uses this process to mass produce colored images on greeting cards and board games. Julia Ward Howe is one of the founders, well, in Boston we say she is one of the founders of Mother's Day, thinking that mothers are particularly interested in peace and we should have a day set aside to honor them. And so you can think of the connection between Louis Prang and greeting cards and Julia Ward Howe and Mother's Day and think of them in May when you remember your mother. We have other innovations here in Boston. During the war, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology is founded, the la a land-grant school to train practical engineers who will be in great demand in this city that is being rebuilt in the years after the war. It's during this time, as we'll see in the next lesson, that one of the greatest engineering projects of the 19th century is transforming Boston, the filling in of the Back Bay, turning the polluted marshlands of the Back Bay, the festering swamp created by the Beacon Street Dam, into one of the most profitable areas of real estate in the country. So we have that project, we have other engineering projects in the late 19th century, building a new water system, building a new sewage system, that might not seem glamorous, but are essential if you want to have any kind of a life, glamorous or otherwise. Boston is a place transforming itself. As Bostonians are investing in new industries and new innovations, with inventors, with others, creating a new, this new city of Boston.